Hello everyone, once again, welcome to my messy home, so we can talk about some cross-out news. This just popped up, and I guess it's kind of an easy assumption to say this is going to be from the next Battle Pass, which means new faction like the Founders and a new whole lot of crazy stuff. And I thought I would talk about what we know so far. This is from the website. So, there is a new faction, and it's so far going to be the Syndicate, which is kind of cool. Uh, apparently some kind of Japanese sort of Asian-esque kind of a thing, which I'm okay with. And let's just go down here. So here is the developer blog, and yep, they are talking about a lot of stuff that they kind of teased so far, and they kind of were excited to hear our guesses and had fun with that. So here was the first one, the big fucking gun. Legendary impulse cannon or some kind of a gauss rifle thing. So we all were basically kind of guess what it was. It's probably gonna be something like a scorpion, a uh, very electrical thing. I guess I've seen some kind of YouTube video where there's they put batteries together, hundreds of batteries together, and that makes some kind of a a uh, railgun. And I don't know, something like that. But it's cool so far. Uh, probably mechanics similar to scorpion with armor penetration. Um, kind of gets a little crazier um it's massive so it, it's 11 units of energy <laughs> yeah 11 units of energy means this is your gun this is the gun that you have you slap on one gun to your vehicle and you're good and what does that mean implications i mean does that mean that you have the same gun for low ps as for high ps does ps even matter with this gun is it completely seal clubbing i mean at that point why not why would you not seal club if you can just get more armor get a higher power score and fight against harder weapons with the same weapon why would you even do that so yeah hello seal clubbing 11 units of energy it's massive durable accurate weapon with charging mechanics so like a scorpion with um it can charge like whatever the hell that new other energy weapon is. You can charge it. And here, duration of charging a shot will affect not only the damage, okay, but also the weapon itself and your armored vehicle. How? And they'd like to find out what you think that means uh, for their own amusement. What the hell, man? So you can charge it. It does more damage. Also, I'm going to say... Charging more is going to cause more armor penetration. So that's the weapon itself. How does it affect your armored vehicle? So you charge up your gun, it affects your vehicle. What does that mean? Makes it faster, slower, more durable, less durable. What else can you do to your own vehicle? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe the whole thing becomes a spark. Your whole vehicle becomes a spark. Everything is a spark. Just, I, 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 that would be crazy, right? But it is 11 units of energy. It is going to be overkill. I, or if not, then it's just not a weapon. So what else do they got? This cab is obviously new. Some kind of a small teeny car. Like something you find in Japan. Kind of cute. Uh, no new armor yet. But I do really like the way they made this car here. That, I think they really did a good, even, you can see the cab. It's exposed. But they still did a good job armoring up. I kind of like what they did. So good job, Debs. New wheels, of course. New cab, new weapon, new wheels. Let's take a look. All right. So special wheels with negative camber. What does that mean? It means your wheels um, are splayed to the side like that uh, going outwards. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome looking. And as they say here, it's about looks. Ever dreamed of building the perfect sports car? Then they look really cool, stylish. Yep, yeah, it's for stylish. It looks like that, and it's, yeah. Uh, but, uh, there are mechanics. You can change the ground clearance. Similar to what we know from Stallion Wheels. Okay, so they're hydraulic. Yay! That was cool. I know Mr. G was asking for that one. It goes up and down, but it will not have distinctive jumps. So yes, it goes up and down, but it's not gonna jump, which always was kind of weird. Maybe we'll have more use of these than stallion wheels. Um, they should be small, fit anywhere, and I think this is going to be really fun. Nothing OP, just really fun. I'm glad they put something like that in the game. That's pretty cool. Probably a high PS because it's a special. 
And then we have this one, epic wheels, moving in any direction. See they have like wheels on the wheels? So it can also strafe. Nice. I don't know what that's gonna feel like or look like. I would imagine it's the way the meat grinders are now. Uh, meat grinders right now, they can't really turn as they strafe. I think this might be a... Because how would it? It's just such a weird actual wheel. But of course, it's a game. They can do whatever they want. But um, yeah, a strafing wheel. Which I think is going to be great. I think it's going to take over some of the hovers. Some people have not quite mastered hovers. And they might instead opt for this wheel. Which is like, you know, it can still strafe. And yeah, I think that could be really fun. Hopefully, beefy like a kind of like a Bigfoot it looks pretty it's pretty big not quite as big as a Bigfoot but um, maybe kind of in between Bigfoot and something else I don't know but that looks really awesome anything else that it says they can turn the armored car while it's stationary and during movement so forward and backwards sideways and diagonal okay there you go diagonally too so yes you can turn and strafe at the same time that looks pretty amazing. Of course, such freedom and maneuverability impose their own limitations. What does that mean? Yipes. Does that mean that they're low durability or something? You can invert... What happens if you invert these things? That'd be kind of cool to protect them. But I don't know what kind of limitations they're talking about. Yipes. All right, let's try to move along. So, oh, you will not be able to reach the maximum possible speed on these wheels. Okay, similar to tracks, augers, hovers, and mechanical legs, their meat, their speed is limited. Maybe the uh, golden eagle can help with that. I don't know. Probably not. To maximize the potential of the chassis, you will need to show all your skill. Okay, so it's it can do cool things, but you're gonna have to um, build it right to <laughs> to get any use out of it. Looks challenging. Looks pretty cool. Interesting. Uh, yeah, the game does tend to have cool things and then nerf itself to balance instead of balancing They just added its own weird nerfs Yeah, okay here it is epic li light epic cabin. Ooh, there it is some kind of cute little Japanese kind of car. I like it so uh, lightweight and stylish probably light cab probably uh, speed and drift enthusiasts. Yes, the drift. How will they can be connected? We want to find out your guess. So I guess let them know and let them chuckle at your... I don't know how you missed up. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean... So I guess it drifts pretty well. Probably very, very fast. Maybe like the, the cockpit. But I'm wondering... They like to have these kind of dual mode things. I'm going to guess that you're gonna have some kind of a key for this cab. And the key, you can probably switch it. It'll probably pair nicely with the, uh, the negative camber wheels because they also have a duality. So maybe you hit a key and this will do something and this will make it add drift or not add drift. So that could be useful for racers. Maybe some, there's times that you don't want to drift. Sometimes you do want to drift. So maybe that has, that's my guess. Is that something to do with drift? Because it says right here, drift. So, and there's going to be, that's my guess. And looking here, there's a new part here. Right? This vehicle has no new armor, so what is that? In right, tucked in here, there's something secret they're not telling us yet. Is it a module? Is it a new engine? Looks like an engine. But there's definitely something here. I don't think it's part of the cab itself. Maybe it is. But it looks like, no, from here to here to here, that's some kind of a new module. I think so there's something else they're not telling us that's cool that's cool game that's cool I'm cool with that when released okay so for your questions syndicate is coming out in February there you go so there's only a few weeks left so a few weeks two three weeks left cool that's really cool and that's the new season new battle pass and you know there's gonna be they haven't shown anything but you know it's gonna be a lot of cool decor a lot of cool stickers that will match with the syndicate. I'm looking forward to that. Battle Pass usually is a good deal. You're gonna get the fused free weapon wheels cab, as well as the blueprints, which are free. And you'll get some good stuff. Uh, paints, not yet, but there will be paints, there will be stickers, there will be decor, which I'm probably gonna wanna have. Hopefully CKs, that'd be awesome. 
Uh, that's all I see here. So guys, Gaijin wants your opinion. So let's go to the website. I'm gonna put the website in the link. Give them your guesses and um, give me your guesses. Tell me what you think about all this cool stuff. And especially this. <laughs> guys, we are going to find out. This is gonna be awesome. Anyway, uh, that's all for me. I'll talk to you later. Check out this website and tell me about it. Bye guys. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark.